Hi guys. Welcome to Chinese Drama Space. In this video we are going to see the Chinese dramas update, so guys stay tuned to the end. Let's start with news about Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty Season 2. Many came in with high expectations for the return of Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty, and Season 2 went above and beyond those expectations. Despite airing during the Olympic season, the show had a great run on Aichi, which needed a hit after some misses earlier this year. The heat index for Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty to the West reached 10,205 by the finale. Now that it has concluded, Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty to Chang'an, marking the third season of the franchise, has been officially announced. Helmed by Guo Jingyu, the producer known for not focusing on traffic stars for his projects, the ensemble cast shines. As Yang Jigang aptly said, there are no supporting roles, everyone is a lead at different stages. Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty star, Yang Xuan, previously worked with the producer in Legend of the Condor Heroes in 2017. The show has been praised for listening to fans, bringing in actors Yu Yi and Paul Che for the second season upon popular demand. The showrunners emphasize that they are not just spoiling fans but responding to valuable fan insights. There was even a plan to pause the release of episodes, a common practice by platforms to make way for new shows, but fans were adamantly against it. In the end, episodes continued to air daily until the finale. The show's mutual love affair with fans has become its best promotion, proving that it doesn't need big traffic stars. Fans have expressed their desire for up to 45 seasons of Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty, even mapping out potential cases for each one. The duo of Yang Xuan and Yang Jigang joked they would be 75 and 90 years old respectively if this were to happen. But for now, let's take it one step at a time, starting with season 3, which is already confirmed. Yang Jigang even shared a clip of him reading what turned out to be the script for Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty, to Chang'an. It's not as often for Chinese dramas to adopt a season format successfully, and whether the same cast returns for subsequent seasons is often uncertain. However, Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty has remained committed to keeping everyone intact. With its format of dedicating a few episodes to each story it tackles, this series could easily continue for many more seasons. Let move on our next story. Our next story is Xia Zhiguang's role in Dashing Youth. Streaming giant Yuku apologizes to former R1SE member Xia Zhiguang after finding themselves in a spot of trouble over a recent live broadcast featuring some of the cast of Dashing Youth. The star who plays a supporting role as Sikong Changfeng was asked about his thoughts on playing the protagonist's bodyguard. A cut scene that was supposed to feature the actor was also not shown at first, but replaced by a different clip that didn't have him at all. Meanwhile, fans who tuned in immediately jumped in to defend the actor, accusing organizers of bullying its actors and not respecting them. In the youth fantasy web drama Dashing Youth, Sikong Changfeng is a wanderer highly proficient with the spear who becomes friends with Neo Ho's Bailey Dongjun. Fans were unhappy with labeling him a bodyguard when the character stands on its own and should not be dependent on anyone else. This left many of his fans, and fans of the drama, disappointed with what they deem was the blatant disrespect towards him, and it didn't help that his highlight scene that was supposed to play didn't. They did end up showing the scene later on despite the actor saying not to anymore. Let move on other story. Su Kai joins forces with Tan Songyun in As Beautiful As You, and partners Tian Shiwei in the costume drama Moonlit Reunion. With Su Kai and Seven Tan Songyun's As Beautiful As You rapping on a high note, the actor was praised for improving by leaps and bounds, compared to his previous performance in family-oriented drama Best Choice Ever, where he teamed up with Andy Yang Zi. Riding on his high popularity, his new ancient production Moonlit Reunion in which he pairs with New Life Begins Tian Shiwei has also secured close to a million drama reservations. Fans heaped praise on Su Kai's styling looks in Moonlit Reunion, and were impressed by his high compatibility with female lead Tian Shiwei. One arrogant, the other sweet, and felt that their collaboration in crime-solving pushed his handsomeness to new heights, raising their expectations for the production. Although he portrayed similar stereotypical characters of bossy CEO in both dramas, Su Kai showed a visible improvement, 
with his deep gazes and from the heart crying scenes in as beautiful as you moving the audience. In the teaser trailer, the two appeared to be engaged in secretive plotting, and Su Kai wore a befitting sharp gaze praised by fans. Latest stills released also showed a dashing Su Kai giving off an aura of elegance in his dark blue robe, despite the lack of accessories. Adapted from Chinese novelist Fu Hua's The Daily Life of Mei Furin doting on her husband. The story follows the flamboyant and straightforward county princess, Wu Zhen, who appears to be the noble sister of the empress, leading a group of playboys in Chang'an City. In reality, she is the Chang'an cat master, specializing in resolving disputes and strange cases between humans and demons. On the other hand, Mei Zhuyu, with an upright personality seems to be a diligent official but hides an identity as a genius Taoist. An accidental engagement brings the two together, leading to a series of adventures as they combine forces to crack cases and discover each other's true feelings. It seems like Chinese actor and model Su Kai has found his groove playing the domineering boss in modern dramas. In his most recent collab with Seven Tan Songyun, the 29-year-old plays the overbearing CEO Han Ting. Born with a silver spoon and groomed to take over his family's company, he is ambitious and focused. Meanwhile, Su Kai's other urban drama opposite Yang Zi, which also aired this 2024 saw him portray company president Yao Ziming. In both dramas, Su Kai initially comes off as the successful businessman. Yet underneath the seemingly cold and ruthless demeanor. Him turning out to be a warm and loving partner soon had viewers swooning over his character. Of course, his adorable smile might have also played a role, especially when the actor who's over six feet is all dressed up in a suit and tie. In Tan Song Yun and Yang Zi's case, the chemistry from both their pairings with Su Kai was also so palpable it leaves no doubt as to why viewers practically ate it all up despite the similar storylines going on. As many of you know, Su Kai has starred in a number of costume historicals, having started out with a breakout role as Fuka Fuhang in Story of Yenshi Palace. It's not as often we see him signing on for modern ones. In fact, in recent years he's appeared in four, aside from as beautiful as you and best choice ever. Both workplace romances in the medtech and hotel industry, respectively, with the latter also being a family drama, Su Kai's previous modern dramas also include She and Her Perfect Husband in 2022 and the esports-themed Falling Into Your Smile back in 2021. Nonetheless, he seems quite at home playing the domineering CEO types who are cold on the outside but warm and caring on the inside. Our last story of the day is a story of Angela Baby and Song Weilong star in Everlasting Longing upcoming Chinese drama. Angela Baby has been going through a rough patch in her career since her divorce from Huang Xiaoming. Her dramas last year, Twilight and Divine Destiny, did poorly. She was blacklisted by the Chinese government since she was caught watching Blackpink Lisa's Crazy Horse Show in Paris. With her social media accounts now reactivated, Angela Baby has been trying to turn her career luck around. Although making a comeback on the cover of T Magazine China, Angela Baby did not manage to revive her career to its former glory. She supposedly spent millions of Chinese yuan in a month on marketing to no avail. Keep Running, the variety show where she has been a fixed host for the last 10 years, cut ties with her. In order to gain exposure, Angela Baby joined a live stream selling show and seemed to be forcing a smile as she sold products. Her fans were heartbroken to see her in such a state. Good news may be in the horizon, as Angela Baby's new historical drama Everlasting Loving with Song Weilong will be airing in September. This will be her first drama airing since her crazy horse scandal. If it is well received, Angela Baby may still have a chance to take on leading roles. If the drama is unsuccessful, she likely will not be able to revive her career. Everlasting Loving is adapted from a novel. Angela Baby will play the eldest daughter of a merchant family, but she has two identities. To outsiders, she was the illegitimate daughter of the family. Taken to Beixian at the age of 20 years old, she was accused of being a spy, humiliated and mistreated. Finding a chance to escape, she discovered that while she was away from home, the prince colluded with her brother-in-law and his mistress to steal their family fortune. She returned home to fight to rebuild the family business. 
That for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming updates. The Double is a compelling Chinese historical drama that follows the journey of Xue Fang Fei, who assumes a new identity to seek revenge after losing everything to politics. With a strong female lead and intricate plot, the show masterfully balances intrigue, politics, and romance. The Double is currently streaming on Netflix. A melodramatic twist to a historical drama that treats its women as smart beings, that's the Chinese drama, The Double, for you. It is everything you are looking for in a historical drama that treats its subjects like real beings without compromising on the make-believe aspect of storytelling. There is enough intrigue, politics, and peppered romance to keep you invested. The Double traces the story of Xue Fang Fei, Wu Jin Yan, the daughter of a magistrate, who assumes the identity of Jiang Li, the daughter of the secretariat director, after losing everything to politics. She receives help from Duke Xiaohang, Wang Xiangyu, in her pursuit of revenge for both her and the real Jiang Li, who suffered a painful death. Fang Fei's journey in overcoming the numerous hurdles she faces in her fight against injustice is what makes the basic premise of The Double. What perhaps is the best part about The Double is the fact that Wang Xiangyu does most of the heavy lifting. The story remains true to her journey and does not deviate from its subject. Xiao Heng is a catalyst in the story and the writers do not underwrite Fang Fei's character arc to paint a larger-than-life image of Heng. The fact that the writers don't belittle the intelligence of the audience and the people in the narrative is another bonus point for the show. Her identity always remains a subject of ambiguity for people around her, given that Fang Fei and Jiang Li are not identical twins, and it makes you root for her against all odds. The double also has interesting cinematography that highlights the beauty of the actors and the action sequences with a magnetic charm. If you are an avid watcher of Chinese dramas, the innovative and clean action choreography will not come as a surprise to you though. Both Wu Jinyan and Wang Xiangyu are charismatic on screen. They have a restrained chemistry together and complement each other's strengths as actors. Their character arcs together and individually is fleshed enough for you to root for them. While it helps that their romantic relationship is left mostly to one's imagination, the show might have benefited from crisp writing about their relationship. The right balance of drama and politics is the biggest strength of the double. However, the runtime is arguably long and could have easily been captured in a 30-episode series. If you are looking for a well-fleshed-out historical drama that is emotionally stimulating, the double is for you. It is available on Netflix.